Hey guys, I've had a lot of inquiries on how I make my vintage kind of replica photos. And it's really easy. And so this is one example here. And this is another example. And what else? Let me see if I can. This one, they look so real. They feel really nice. And I just love, I love the outcome. I love the feel, I love the look. They really look vintage. So if you're anything like me, you have files and files and files on your computer of old photos if you're on the internet or on Pinterest and you're looking at old photos that you think that you may print off um, like I do, I have tons of them. Then when you need them for a project like this, then you're, you have them easy accessible. So all I do is I save them to my computer. I print them off. So I just use, that's gonna fall. So I just use regular card stock. So this is what it looks like. Just regular card stock. And then I run it through, um, I have this template of the lines for um, journaling cards. So I just gotta trim that side off. So I usually print four at a time. My computer, I, don't, I can't remember what program that I use, but my computer automatically opens, it up, opens up when I print to like a photo, photo program and then I can pick um, five by sevens or four by sixes um, wallet size. So I always do my journal cards um the four by sixes i believe and so you can get four to a page and so i pick four pictures and print them on one sheet of cardstock and then i print that excuse me i've got a cough <coughs> then i select this to be printed four times and run it through the back side of your pictures and that gets that on there. And then I actually have a sheet of vellum and I pick the same pictures again and just print it off. So these can be really fun because if it's a light photo, you can get a pop of color. Like you see the red burn, it doesn't show up too much on this photo, but I have, I have done them with the pop of color in the background that comes through really well. So then all I do is I line them up and then I usually clip it so it doesn't slide and then I run it through my my sewing machine. It's so easy and then I ink I ink around edges to give it that distressed look and then it look it really looks like a vintage photo and it kind of feels like it because of the vellum I absolutely love it and that's how I do these and I'm just wondering if I have any more and then if you want to really get crafty this is my new journal you can pick snow so I've actually got that as an overlay of snow. And then you can put it over top, which is pretty neat. And so one of my most favorite, if that's even a word, is, let me see if I can find it. It really turned out well. Oh my dear. Okay, maybe it's in the second signature. Oh my. Okay, just let me just let me find it for a sec. 
Oh yeah. So my favorite is that. So the background is actually a picture of like Christmas trees like that. And then I got this image, the Farm Fresh Christmas tree. I just printed it off on vellum, put it over top, and then you get the Christmas trees in behind. I stinking love it. It turns out so nice and it's so easy. Yeah, very, very, very easy. And I've done a couple, I've done a couple with snow, other ones with snow. Oh, this is one. See the tree in behind and then the snow? So you can really get, you can really have fun with it. It's so easy. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it gives you some inspiration and go out and make these, these cool vintage looking, they, they're so soft on the hand. I really love it. All right, guys, have fun and I'm out. Bye.